おはようございます。サポロー。Um, so it's snowing outside. It's never really been in the city where it's snowed before. So it's pretty cool to wake up to. But there are just crows everywhere and they're so creepy.、They're, especially like at night when they're flying around. Oh my god.、Ugh. Cool. Well, it's still really early because we haven't really adjusted to the,、um, the time here. So, we'll see you again later once the sun's up properly, and hopefully, the snow would have settled if that's a good thing. I don't know. We'll see you later anyway. So, we're at Sapporo Station. Not sure if you can see the trains, but they're absolutely packed. And they're so packed that all the,、uh, the windows have fogged right up, so that's super thick. What do you think, Catherine? You sure you want to do this? Totally. It's a stormy day in Sapporo, and we are going to Motaru, which is basically、uh, up the coast. So, here is the wind map, and we were here in Sapporo, and they've taken a very, very slow local train, which takes 40 minutes to a place called Otaru. The nice thing about going to Otaru is it's all the way by the sea. Otaru is famous for a couple of canals. Catherine's cracking up at me. There she is, she's sitting. Relaxing. It's been really nice. We've had a great view of some of the mountains and some of the snow. And now we get to see the sea as we、um, head basically over there. So we'll see you in Otaru. Here it is, Catherine. I am just overwhelmed. What are you, what are you looking at? Fucking canal. This is the canal. <laughs> overwhelmed. <laughs> so we've made it to Otaru. Otaru is particularly famous for this canal, which、uh, apparently has been done in a European style of a canal. Do you have any other thoughts of Otaru? It's just amazing.、Uh, what, as, as canals go? Or just.、Oh, as anything goes. So here's going to be a treat for you guys. We're going to do a wee bit of a close up on the canal. How about that? Waza! Have you even seen something so amazing? Ah,、uh, don't worry. I came 50 minutes on a train to see this. <laughs> It's clouding over now, so you'll get colder. <laughs> cool. Really, what I wanted to say is the Sapporo Clock Tower has been ranked the third most disappointing tourist attraction in Japan by tourists of Japan. And so we've decided to come and see it. You can see people who are taking photos. Uh, so, this is the big reveal. Maybe it's an inside joke. So there's、uh, all the people. If I just go, I'm just going to walk around. Sugoi! How about that, Catherine? Whoa! What are you? This is kind of like the camp of the canal. Come on, this is heaps nicer than the canal. The people that stay in that hotel might shit themselves, man, if they get a view of the tower from their room. They so, wouldn't even have to leave. So, do you rank this as probably one of your must see attractions? Oh, definitely. Well, you are from Hamilton, so you would say that. So, just around the corner from the、uh, clock tower. Is the Sapporo Tower, which looks like the Tokyo Tower, which is based off the Eiffel Tower. Catherine, what are your first impressions、Whoa. of this tower? Holy moly! I think you're faking this. <laughs>、um, we went for a, a small walk back there.、Uh, that was probably a little disappointing.、Um, I do see a lift. I don't know. I think I see a restaurant. You want to go up there and have food? No. As you can see, I've lost Catherine to a pet store. Probably because those things are doing that. There's a yellow one, and then there's a white one. 
and then there's Catherine, and she's looking at the pets, and I think this has probably been the highlight of supporter for her. Catherine's gonna try and scoop up this candy. Come on, Kit Kat, you dick. Yeah. Waylon always mocks me for wasting money on like scratches and stuff. He just spent, I'm going to say around $14, trying to get like about $3 worth of chocolate. Uh, $3 worth of chocolate is probably really generous. <laughs> um, and also did win some prizes. So I probably won about a dollar worth of chocolate for the $14. So basically... about five minutes worth of fun. Yeah. So basically there's this scoop thing and for a dollar ten goes in, tries to scoop some chocolate and it'll drop it on this other platform and then it will try and uh, if you put enough chocolate on that platform it'll push this whole tower full of chocolate down. Unfortunately it failed. So funny. ripped off by Japan again. <laughs> so Catherine and I have made it to the Sapporo Beer Factory in Sapporo Beer Garden. It feels like it's like 8 o'clock at night. But? It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it really yeah, does feel flowers. quite dark. Ah, so this is a highlight of the, uh, the museum. The sunflowers. Anyways, uh, we've come here to do a little bit of beer tasting. And we might even have dinner. So that's quite exciting. This is obviously... Uh, the birthplace of Sapporo beer, if you're a Japanese beer drinker. It's really one of the main two, the other one being Asahi Super Dry. Whalen was having a nap today, and while he was doing that, I was Googling the Sapporo Beer Museum, because I thought it would be good to know how long they recommended for you to like, go through it and stuff like that. And I noticed it said on the opening hours that um, Mondays were a holiday, but also if Monday was a public holiday, then the Tuesday would become a holiday. So I mentioned this to Waylon just to check we weren't going to walk half an hour to a closed museum and he called the person on the other line didn't understand and it was also a terrible reception because Waylon keeps persisting on calling with his Skype. It was great reception. No, it kept cutting out. Um, so between the Skype and the language difference, Waylon hung up the phone and said, oh no, don't worry. They answered so they must be open. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Let's be chill, Catherine. Everything's gonna be all right. So we walked the half an hour, and uh, what would you fucking know? Uh, this is actually so, a, this is a family channel, so can you so, refrain from swearing? So when we're planning this trip, we literally came to Sapporo to go to the Sapporo Better Museum, and we're only here today, and we can't go to the museum. So that's pretty funny. I might go see if I can buy a souvenir to say I, I didn't go here. It looks awfully close. Is that close too? Are you sure? Nah. There are people in there. Okay. <laughs> Any commentary Mrs. Kenning? So we're off to the Sapporo Beer Garden which is through there. And, uh, you want to take a selfie with the tree with me? Yeah, got to take a selfie with the tree. Yep. Uh, I don't know what we just ordered, but we have to eat and drink as much as possible within an hour. Um, Hot. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Um, so we better get drinking and eating. It's always funny when we order a beer and a cocktail, they got to offer me the cocktail and we'll the beer. And then they laugh when it's the other way around. But that's okay. We have the sauce. I'm not really sure what that is. But yeah, we're, we're doing it live. So, the deal is, it's 40 bucks. All you can drink and all you can eat for 100 minutes. So let's get cracking. So, they give you these sweet paper, uh, sort of, these things, which is pretty cool. We've got our drinks and we've got our meat. And we're just going to town. So, first review, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. So basically, I paid a little bit more rather than just having beer. 
they have all of these drinks. Um, basically, so you get a bunch of fresh lamb and some frozen lamb, and you have to basically have four of them. If we have four of them, it's value. Here you go for the same us. Basically, you get some fresh lamb and some frozen lamb, uh, and we have to have four of these in a hundred minutes for us to get value for money and drink a lot of beer and a lot of whiskey, and we'll do that. All right, so I've had two core grape sours. Pretty having fun. Here's a big plate of meat. Catherine's cooking. You're, you're responsible for the big beef. Catherine's been hitting up the, the beaters. I think mine are like a little bit more alcoholic than Catherine's. I'm up to three so far, and it's pretty, pretty gnarly. This is awesome. We've got like, like 80 more minutes of this. All right, I have to go. I don't, I don't want more lamb. Just so you know. No more. It's all for you, my love. <laughs> you have to get through two more of those. Value. <laughs> service, service. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. We've gotten through two plates. And I've gotten through two drinks. I feel drunk. But I don't know if we've gotten value from uh, the meat. I haven't even had... We have to have four blades for it to be valid. Catherine. My fourth beer. So, like, throwback to New Zealand and I've had value. Have you ordered this? Have you finished it? I ordered the salad, hoping it would make me feel better, but basically it's lettuce and they poured over the same sauce as what you dunked the meat in. So it actually makes me feel worse. I, and I can't, nah. <clears throat> it makes me feel so annoying, that, that sauce. It's associated with this frozen lamb. So we're at the other end of the lamb and drinks challenge. I had two drinks, got super drunk. We only had the lamb twice, which means we probably didn't get value for money. Uh, it's been super fun. It's a really cool event. We um, had a chat to these people. They were super cool. Um, basically everyone comes here. And you have uh, all you can eat lamb, a little bit of cabbage, and beers and drinks uh, for about 40 bucks per person. So if you're ever in support or I totally recommend it. And the view is awesome. So it's an old beer hall. So there's one of the old um, old vets over there. It's massive. Don't worry, I just dropped the camera. All right, I'll see you later. Are you, are you yeah. ready? Yeah. Just had dinner in Sapporo uh, Garden, something or other. Oh my god, we ate and drank as much as possible. For like basically four dollars each. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had enough for forty dollars. Um Hi Dada. Made friends with grandpa across the table from us. Insert photo here, if you can, technology. <gasps> but it just feels like meat, like lamb, which you know is really heavy and gluggy. So it doesn't feel good from now. So basically now we're going to walk the 40 minutes until we get back to our hotel sun. Hi. <sighs> it doesn't feel great right now. We'll walk it off. Oh. Gotta shake it off, shake it off. Oh. Hayden's gonna hate, 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 hate. Oh. oh no. 
So, yeah. we've had a bit to drink, but to, to throw people off the New Zealand scent, we're chanting Australia, 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 Australia. <laughs> they think we're Australian. We're pretending to be from Kent. So that's pretty cool. Australia, Australia.